Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel, TMB Handmade Crafts, and today we're going to make our IKEA lampshade. My husband made this template on the computer. This is the IKEA shade. What's the idea behind all these circles for this lampshade right here? So this that I can map out uh, how much resin I'm going to need. He printed this out, I taped it down to the table and put some wax paper on top of it. And now we got this translucent uh, clear plastic. So I'm just gonna cut a sheet that will fit on top of here and then lay that down. So as I was looking through YouTube videos, I seen a video on a Ikea lampshade I think it was done by Sue Finley, and I decided that I want to make one for myself. So, um, I had to find something that would cover this hole here, because we don't want resin to get in that. So I found this perfect adapter, American to German wall adapter. So I'm just going to center that there and tape it on. That way I can just kind of stamp it straight down where I want it. All right, that worked out pretty good. Okay, so I've been thinking about this lampshade for a couple days now. I've been waiting to film this and planning it out. I was thinking about what the color scheme would be to kind of go with our living room and everything that we have downstairs, which we have a lot of um, silver and gray and goldish colors. So I was going to do silver and gray. But then this afternoon, as I was still thinking about it, I noticed that we have yellow curtains and some sunflowers. It's going to be springtime soon. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm just going to try to make it look like a sunflower. So this is going to be a sunflower inspired lampshade. Fingers crossed, hopefully it works. What could go wrong? <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and mix 14 ounces total. To begin with, we'll see how where that takes us and if I have to mix more, then I'll mix more, so. I can't wait to start traveling again and going to castles. Yeah, me too. Ooh, look how pretty that is. And then I want to add a handful. And two of these. All right, let's see. I just want it to be coated. So let's see. Let's. Start blending that. Okay. And then so the idea is that that stops all the resin from leaking out or what's Yeah, that? it's gonna stop the resin from leaking out and then also just give it a really pretty border around the edges. I think that's pretty good. Maybe just a teeny tiny bit. I think I just want it to barely coat it. So what I'm gonna do is the crushed glass that we made yesterday, along with some of these crystal diamonds, and coat it in this resin. And that's gonna be the border to go around the outside of the lampshade. Ooh, sparkly things. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, how my wife loves glitter. And, by the way, happy Valentine's Day, everybody out there. I hope you're enjoying your day with your loved one, um, no matter where you are in the world. Well, by the time I get this edited, it might not be Valentine's Day anymore. Yeah, so. <laughs> it, today is Valentine's Day, though, so. Okay, that's pretty So 
So far, I'm excited about this. That looks very pretty down there, like that. Mm -hmm. Hopefully my sunflower turns out looking good and then I'm not being too ambitious by going right away with a technique that looks to be kind of complicated. <laughs> so. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. That's right. So, update on what's going on here with us in Germany. I got a message from my boss yesterday, and the barber shops will open back up on the first. And I guess all other normal activity is planned to resume on the seventh. Let's go ahead and pour this in. Ooh, so far, so good. Yeah, you're gonna need a lot more resin. Yep. Which I'm gonna spread this. And then I'm going to go ahead and get mixing some more. And what I need is enough for my brown, my yellow, and my orange. My lampshade's not going to come out any further. Like, from here to here, none of this is really going to be seen anyways. That is pretty. So I think that makes a nice looking color for the inside of a sunflower. My next step is to put those inside this um, inside of baggie, sandwich baggie. And this is a pretty color too. So I'm pretty happy with with all of my color combinations so far. And the fact that um, The fact that what? I don't know, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> So I'm gonna let these set, let them thicken. I don't know for how long, I think 30 minutes. I want them to get somewhat thick. I guess I can check them um, and just keep on squeezing them until I feel, cause I don't want it to run, I don't want it to run away. I want whenever I put it on there for it to stay in the place that I put it. So I'm thinking maybe I will make, turn this into a little bit of white. And just in case I wanna go in, and do some white. I'm not sure if I do or I don't, but I might as well mix them up. Here we go. My colors aren't that dark, but... It's more than enough. All right, I'm just gonna, there, that's thicker. But then it comes out kind of swirly, so. Let's do the yellow. And that's making some pretty colors now.
I do like the colors, so. Get them nice and warm. I see it popping a lot of bubbles too. I don't want it to um, melt my plastic either, so I have to be careful about that. Now, hopefully, I have enough to go all the way around one time. See how that flows together. Don't you know what to think here. So maybe we don't call this the no until sunflower. I can, until I can get this technique down better. This is the starburst. Then this yeah this is going to be more of. I'm like a starburst, I think. All right, so it's been almost four hours, and we're gonna, it's time to shape this into the lampshade. So it feels pretty good. It looks nice. So I think this is about where we. Yep, I can. It's a tiny bit sticky, but not too bad. Try to get this. Ooh, look at that. Oh, come on. It's stuck. My. Well, that really is a shame. Okay, maybe I can keep that up and fix it. What about these lines? Do you think that's okay? Yeah, we're going to want some lines to it. As a matter of fact, I might need to... See, I need this... Uh, uh, that was not a good one. Oh, come on. What's about 3 a.m.? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're back, and I'm excited to um, demold this and see what it looks like. I've already kind of took a sneak peek, and it is beautiful. Look at that. So I really like the way it turned out. It's been sitting here for about 12 hours after we molded it to the lampshade. So, all right. So I guess I need to get this off first. Like a hot knife through butter, huh? Much, much easier. Okay. There we go. Now I need to heat it again. Yep. Roast in fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably, a, even though it's a hot blade, it's probably a lot safer to work with that because it cuts and gives you more control. Yeah, look at how yeah. easily that slides through there. Well, 
Well, I'm excited that everything's going to open back up. Maybe I can go get my nails done. <laughs> So hopefully, if all goes well, they say that we're going to open things back up on the 7th of March and the barbershops go back to work on the 1st. So I will be going back to work for a little bit, a couple days out of the week until, um, and just keep making these videos and practicing on, on making stuff. So, all right, I think I still need the. So that came off pretty easy, but I still got plastic stuck in here. So we'll just cut around that as well. There it goes. So, I don't know. I think it still could, well, not really look like a sunflower. I think it looks more like a sun sunburst. Yeah. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And um, I think the colors are going to go well with where the lamp is at. This is a happy little accident, huh? Yep. I mean, I think it turned out good, even though it's not what we were expecting. You did pretty good, babe. You were able to, you were able to do something different with it when you realized it wasn't going to do what you wanted it to do. And, uh, you know, you worked with it. And it just kind of became its own creation. Yeah. I think it's pretty. I really like it. And look at how easy that is. Mm -hmm. Oh, that came out of there quite easily. And I'm going to have to take the knife and just go around the edges here and get clean up all of this extra resin that all of this stuff. And then I will make sure that it fits inside the lampshade yeah so like i said i'm gonna have to leave it on here for up to seven days i'm really happy and pleased with the way it turned out i'm very very happy with it and it's it's really pretty so good yay. job baby.